Hello folks, this review is about a very interesting and unique device made by people and sent to me from Gearbest. It is nothing like you've seen before because it serves as a 7 inch tablet and a Windows 8.1, Android 4.4.4, dual boot mini PC as well. You can find it in two versions, with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage and with 2GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. It is the Pippo X8 and let's get to it. The Pippo X8 comes in the rather large white package indicating that it runs Windows 8.1 and Android 4.4.4 and on the back side there are the basic specifications of the device which I'll analyze later in this review. In the box we get the Pippo X8 itself, a European wall plug adapter, the AC adapter which is rated at 12 volts 3 amps and a warranty card. A poor package I must say given that the HDMI cable is not included but price wise we shouldn't be complaining. The device is black with a very good build quality and on the top there's the 7 inch display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. We can also see the people logo on front and the windows start menu button below the touch screen which comes with the screen protector pre-installed. On the right side we have the power on off button, an operation LED, two USB 2.0 ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a stereo speaker. On the left side we only have the second stereo speaker and on the back we find the external adjustable Wi-Fi antenna and remaining ports which are a micro USB on the go, a micro SD card slot, two more USB 2.0 ports, the HDMI output, the Ethernet port and the DC input. If we flip the device we see that it has a lot of ventilation grills and rubber pads in order not to slide easily on most surfaces. The Pippo X8 is running two operating systems, Android 4.4.4 and Windows 8.1. I'm going to analyze both systems and show you what they have to offer. Starting with Windows and according to hardware info, the Pippo X8 has some serious specs under the hood which are a 7 inch 1280 by 800 pixels touchscreen, a quad core Intel Atom Batrial Z3736F CPU running at 2.16 GHz max, Intel HD Graphics Generation 7 GPU running at 620 MHz, 2GB of DDR3L RAM, 32 or 64GB of internal SSD storage, dual boot Windows 8.1 and Android 4.4.4, Wi-Fi 802.11n with a Realtek network adapter and Bluetooth 4. Once again we have the familiar 12 Metro UI with all the live tiles or the classic Windows desktop which you'll use more frequently given the fact that you can do a lot more and access the control panel to modify various system settings. I'm absolutely certain that one of your biggest concerns is the amount of storage space you have on each of the operating systems. So you have 15.6 GB for Windows 8.1 and 8 GB for Android 4.4.4. Because you already know what Windows 8.1 can do, I will mostly analyze the power of the device by executing some benchmarks as well as playing some test videos on Kodi and running some games I installed from the store. The first benchmark I ran was GFX Bench and these are the results. Next I ran 3 Mark and got 7964 points. And lastly, I tested the read and write speeds of the internal storage as well as the CPU, RAM and GPU performance. Kodi runs very smooth on Windows 8.1 as we would expect and the test videos I tried had no frame drops or other issues except for the H.265 videos which were unwatchable due to heavy lagging. Note that the test videos playbacks from an external 2.5 inches 1TB hard drive without the need for an extra power supply. Gaming is average on this device because you cannot play PC games like Crisis, GTA 4, Far Cry and more but you can play games downloaded from the Windows Store or use emulator to play other platform games. You can use a keyboard and mouse to play them as well as wireless gamepads such as the DualShock 4. They run pretty good but the device gets hot with the temperatures ranging from 81 to 88 degrees Celsius. I didn't have operational problems like research though so you should be fine.
A great aspect of the Pippo X8 is that you can dual boot it and run Android 4.4.4 as well. Not many mini PCs have that feature and I'm sure that you will find it very handy. Android runs like it should and on an Intel CPU it's even faster than before, giving us smooth transitions and hassle-free controls that create a great and overwhelming experience. I ran some benchmarks to show you the device's performance on the Android operating system. The first one was on Tutu which gave me 32,092 points. Secondly, I ran 3 Mark, and here are the results. Kodi runs like it should, but there is a big disadvantage over Windows 8.1. It only runs on 1280x800, unlike Windows which runs at 1920x1080. All the videos I tested play back great though. Just like Windows, you can play games downloaded from the Play Store or using emulators to play other platform games like PPSSPP, which gives you the ability to play PSP titles. Wireless gamepads are supported and you can even use the famous DualShock 4. One of the best aspects of this mini PC is that you can use the 7 inch touchscreen and your TV simultaneously to do different things. For example, you can browse the web on your TV and read the news on the touchscreen, watch two movies at the same time or more. The limitation is that one of the two screens must be running the Metro UI, but that's okay because there are a lot of apps you can download from the store and use. Of course, you can have both screens display the same content, but they will be at 1280 x 800, which means that the output on your TV won't be 1920 x 1080, and if you choose to switch one of the two displays off from the window screen resolution settings. The Pippo X8 is a remarkable and very convenient device because if you choose to have both displays on then you don't have to use a fly mouse or a mouse and keyboard to control it as you can do that from the touchscreen. Or even if you don't want to switch your TV on you can still use it as a tablet but you won't be able to use it away from a wall plug because an internal battery is absent. Also you have the ability to display different contents at the same time, a big plus over the rest mini PCs on the market. I definitely recommend this unique device to all of you especially at this price point. To order it visit the links in the video description. Pros, 7 inch touchscreen, tablet capabilities, dual screen modes, 4 USB ports, great technical specifications, very good Wi-Fi reception, dual boot with Windows 8.1 and Android 4.4.4, certified Windows 8.1 with Bing and dual stereo speakers. Cons, it gets very hot when playing games or running demanding tasks. Android 4.4.4 only displays 1280x800 output on the TV, lack of SPDIF optical audio outputs and no internet battery for really independent tablet usage. This was my review guys, I hope you like it and for more unboxings, reviews and tutorials subscribe and follow me. Thanks and bye bye.